Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing my Cooking Panda box for the summer season. If you're unfamiliar with Cooking Panda, they are a food, snack, and beverage subscription box that is going to send you items each season. So they do have two different subscription boxes. They have a seasonal subscription box and they also have a yearly subscription box. So the seasonal one is going to be $44.99 per box. You are going to get 25 plus items with at least 10 pounds of items in your box. And then they do also have the yearly plan, which is going to be $39.99 a box. It comes out to $159.96 that you pay for the year up front. You do get 25 plus snack items as well. A box that does weigh at least 10 pounds, but with the yearly plan, you do get earlier shipping. You get some free bonus items and you apparently get access to limited boxes as well. This is only my second time unboxing this box, so I haven't seen any new like access to limited edition boxes yet but i will be on the lookout for that i will have all the information and pricing down below in case you are interested with this subscription box i don't think i have a referral code but if i do i will leave that down below as well and if you love subscription boxes like i do go ahead and subscribe to my channel but otherwise we're gonna go ahead and get into this box so one thing i will make note of is that for the spring box you were guaranteed at least 15 pounds of food and from looking on their website now you get 10 pounds of food so it looks like they did kind of like cut out a decent chunk of their box. I still feel like I have a pretty full box here. Let's see, maybe I can kind of lift it up. It's pretty heavy still. As you can see here, there's a ton of items with all those little squigglies. But again, to cut it down five pounds, I'm kind of surprised by that. So first up anyway, there is going to be a little note here. So it says, hello foodie. Thank you for being part of another exciting cooking panda box. We're excited for you to dive in and enjoy everything inside. You may have noticed that we did not use our traditional pattern exterior boxes similar to the previous ones and we're writing to let you know why. Due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, the cost of the boxes have increased and thus have become very difficult and expensive to source. With the cost of goods on the rise, it was our priority not to increase the cost of your cooking panda box for you, so we decided to make a shift and use a more sturdy exterior craft box and reduce the amount of wasted paper products to package and ship. In doing this, we've been able to maintain our costs, reduce paper waste, and still be able to deliver your cooking panda boxes in time so there is a lot more left to it but i feel like that's kind of the bulk of it so just quickly glancing at the second paragraph these are going to be eco-friendly packaging peanuts which you can just put them in water and they will decompose so that is pretty cool so on top of the box there are going to be a lot of little informational postcards it looks like some of them might have recipes some of them might have some discounts like there's a coupon here it's just a little bit of a variety here the one I will say, this is going to be good for one free item up to a $9.99 value. It says any 10 ounce mini medjool product. So that's pretty cool. And again, I mean, this is like an extra $10 worth of an item in the box and you can probably choose your own flavor. I don't think I've ever seen this item before, but I'll have to be on the lookout for it. The coupon is good until October 31st, so there is some time there. Finally, diving into the items. The first item is from Jolly Time. It's their Simply Popped Butter Popcorn. It's simply butter, sea salt, popcorn, and oil. So it looks like you get three popcorn packs in here, 35 calories per cup, non-GMO kernels, and gluten-free. I haven't had like popped popcorn at home in such a long time. So I'm actually really excited to see this in the box. Also going to be some sea salt pretzel. So this is from Fit Joy. It's some grain free pretzels. It's a 100 calorie pack. They're also going to be gluten free, allergen friendly and always vegan. So you definitely have a little bit of a healthier pretzel here. Always a tasty snack. There's also something from High Key. It's their almond flour crackers in sea salt flavored. So these are going to be keto friendly, seven grams of protein and grain free. So it says now with improved crisp and flavor. Again, I have mine in sea salt. I feel like every cooking panda box is the same. You might just get different flavors, but I'm kind of interested in trying these. There was an item from High Key last month. It was their chocolate chip cookies. So I'm curious to see what the crackers taste like. Oh, this next item is perfect for summer. These are going to be campfire premium quality marshmallows. This says great for roasting. They're gluten free, fat free, no artificial color. These are some nice plumpy marshmallows. I really want to make a s'mores now because that sounds amazing. I'm so excited to make that happen. There's also something from the Matzo Project. It's the cutest little Matzo Bites. 
So uh, mine are in cinnamon sugared flavor. They have some very interesting packaging here. You can kind of see what they look like in what should be this lady's sunglasses. But hopefully they're pretty good. They're vegan, nut-free, all natural, and no trans fats. And this little pack here is 90 calories. I don't think I've ever seen this brand before. I feel like this packaging I would definitely recognize in a store. Next up is from Four Sigmatic. It's their mushroom ground coffee with lion's mane. And I got mine in dark roast. So it looks like... So it says it's going to taste like coffee, not like mushrooms. You can have this as hot coffee, cold brew, or you can even elevate it by adding in non-dairy milk, coconut oil, or cinnamon. It's vegan, keto, and zero grams of sugar. Hmm. It's fair trade coffee. I personally do not drink coffee, so I'll probably give this to my grandpa because I know he likes to drink coffee. Don't know if he'll drink dark roast, but I mean, it is worth a try. But it is kind of cool to get in the box a good variety here. Another interesting item. This is from Rhythm. It's going to be their mushroom crisps in fire roasted flavor. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this either. This should be really unique. So let's see. This is going to be low heat crisp, certified vegan, excellent source of vitamin D, excellent source of other vitamins, fiber, folic acid. It is organic. So I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms. Sometimes I can just have a couple mushrooms here and there. The fire roasted flavor, I'm not huge on peppers either, but like the garlic part sounds really good. I don't know. Either way, I'll give them a try. It's something really unique and I'm, I'm kind of excited to try them and get out of my comfort zone. There are still so many items to go, but next up is going to be from Eva Moore or Eva Moore. It's their natural water. It's going to have an alkaline pH of 8.8 .8 to 9.1. Here is the water bottle. Oh geez, I can kind of see like my face right there. That's weird. Anyway, can't go wrong with water. I feel like I haven't had alkaline water too often so good to give it a try there's also going to be some oh, amazing lemon bar granola snack so some yummy granola you can kind of see what it looks like here this would probably be really good with some yogurt i also like to have granola with almond milk i feel like it's pretty tasty i have tried this granola before in a, another subscription box it is very tasty it's not a super strong lemon flavor so if you don't like lemon you'd probably still like this but it has no nuts, no wheat, no soy, and no preservatives. Oh, we have some candy. So from Daryl Lee, it's the Soft Australian Licorice. It's going to be strawberry flavored. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's going to be organic, plant-based, no palm oil, and no high fructose corn syrup. And it is resealable, which I think is really nice because there's no way I could eat all of this quickly. Okay, so this is the brand that had the coupon for something free up to $9.99. It's from Natural Delights. It's the Fresh medjool dates it's three dates per box and they are pitted i don't think i've ever seen this brand before let's see can we see what they look like oh we can oh they come individually wrapped that is so cute there is also a coupon in here for two dollars off a product it looks like it's the same one that had the ten dollars off let me see quickly Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so that's cool. You get two coupons if you end up really liking it. I love that they're individually wrapped. That is adorable. All right, so from Sea Point Farms, there's a Mighty Little Crunchy Corn Pink Himalayan Salt. It says better than popcorn. So it also says better than corn nuts. It's going to be crunchy, crispy corn snack. So the Pink Himalayan Salt should be a pretty good flavor. I am curious to give this a try. Here's a little bit of a better picture so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Hmm vegan gluten-free as well in case you're interested in that there is also some mayonnaise from blue plates so this is going to be an omega excellent source of omega-3 and it's just some mayonnaise i'm personally not a huge fan of mayonnaise but my grandpa loves mayonnaise and he actually really loves this brand he's been buying it so i already showed this to him and he's totally excited for it but let's see oh Next item that we can't go wrong with is from Trident. We have some sugar-free spearmint flavored gum. There are 28 sticks. This is good to have on the go. I haven't had, I don't have gum too often, to be honest. I don't know why, but if I do have gum, I always like the minty flavors. They're always the best, in my opinion. There's also something from True Made Foods. It's going to be a little honey mustard dressing. It says with hidden veggies. So that's pretty interesting oh geez it has carrots buttermilk squash in here huh 
that's pretty interesting. I'm kind of curious to see what this honey mustard is going to taste like. And speaking of interesting, there is something from Twang. It's going to be, or from Twang Reserve. It's their pickled flavored rimming sauce. That is super interesting. It says it's great on Bloody Marys. I personally do not drink, so I wonder if you could use this for something else, for cooking of some sorts. I mean, I like things that are pickle flavored, so I feel like I would end up liking this. Maybe if you put it on a pretzel or something. I don't know. Hopefully there's some options there, but this is definitely unique. It just started raining out, so you might hear some noises in my background. And with the rain, I live in Florida, so chances are there's going to be some loud thunder coming up too. But anyway, moving on, the next item is from Celsius Live Fit. This is going to be their sparkling strawberry lemonade which I was actually really excited about this, but then I saw it's an energy drink. So I usually don't drink energy drinks, so I don't know how I feel about this, but it has zero sugar, it's gluten-free, it's kosher and non-GMO as well. So hopefully it ends up being pretty good. I might actually give it a try. It says that it accelerates your metabolism and burns body fat. I feel like a lot of people really like this, so it must be a pretty huge hit. And speaking of another item that is super unique, this is from Moringa, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It is fortified tofu. And this is another item that I don't know how I feel about, but it's creamy and smooth. It has five grams of protein, good source of vitamin D. I've never tried this before, so I feel like I can't really judge it. I did actually Google this, and I feel like, because I knew it was in the box, and I saw that somebody said it kind of tastes like beans, which I don't really like beans either. I don't know maybe i'll give it a try if you've had tofu and you know a really good way to eat it or try it please comment down below because i am curious in giving this a try because i feel like i would not go out and buy this on my own but moving along there is something from blake's and this is going to be a seed based rice krispie treats in a birthday cake so it has flax seeds pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds and sprinkles i personally really like these i did try them in another subscription box and i ended up buying more off of thrive market because they are pretty tasty granted they do taste healthy but i mean it looks like a rice krispie treat and it actually is pretty good i actually liked it a lot so it's peanut free tree nut free milk free egg free wheat free soy free and sesame free in case you are somebody who has certain dietary restrictions but then there is something from Louisiana Fish Frying Products, and this is going to be seasoned crispy fish fry seafood breading mix. So if you're somebody who likes to make fish at home, this is going to be perfect for you. I showed this to my husband and he was super excited. He's like, oh, we need to try that. We need to make some fish. So I'm sure we'll be trying this in the very near future and I'm sure it's going to be really good. I mean, it looks really tasty. So that is a huge plus. There is going to be another dipping sauce from True Made Foods. This is the Kansas City Pitmaster Barbecue Sauce, and mine has less sugar in it. I feel like these are so good for kind of like on-the-go dipping sauces. I'm somebody who's obsessed with extra dipping sauce and things like that, so these always come in handy, and I always use them at home. We still have like eight items left, but next up, there are going to be two of this item. This is going to be from Snack Mates Kids. It's a chicken and maple stick made with free-range chicken. So here is what it looks like. I personally love snacks like this. I don't think I've ever tried a chicken one, but I am definitely up for trying this. These are also really good if you have kids because as it says, like a kid snack, this would be great to put in their lunchbox as a quick on the go snack. I feel like kids really enjoy items like this as well. Let's see. Okay, next up is from Octo Nuts, California. It's going to be roasted Korean barbecue almonds. And those actually sound really good. They're soy free, dairy free, and peanut free. I wonder if they're going to be spicy because sometimes I feel like Korean barbecue has a little bit of extra heat to it, but I'm excited to try these just from the packaging. They look delicious, so I'm all for that. And speaking of delicious, look at these sprinkles. They are so cute. So this is from Sweeta Polita, where happy lives, sprinkle melody. I mean, just look at these. There's a big giant banana in there too. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. It's banana boat sprinkle medley. These are adorable. This is like summertime in a jar. They are so cute. I'm so excited to see that in the box. There's also another item from Twang. It's a Twangarita. It's a strawberry lime flavored rimming salt. Looks like it has nectar belly nectar berry in it not nectar belly i don't know what i'm talking about so strawberry and lime flavored salt cane sugar and kosher salts 
looks pretty good again i don't really drink margaritas i don't think i've ever had a margarita so i'll have to find another use for this but i'm sure there are other ways that you can use this product okay so next up is from minty manny it's going to be five nail files and that is really interesting to receive in this box definitely unexpected i kind of want to see what they look like wow oh my goodness look at it it looks just like a piece of gum that is crazy does it smell minty no it smells like a wooden nail file but those are super cute i feel like you could also like play a trick on somebody and pretend it's gum maybe don't do that i shouldn't recommend that that's a bad idea but it would be funny but all right moving on there is something from la torangle i know i messed that up so we're just going to continue it's artisan oils it's a single serve dose of avocado oil so drizzle and dip I'm actually really excited to see this in the box because I have never had avocado oil before, but it is something I always look at in the store and I am kind of interested in it. So now is my chance to see if I end up liking it. And speaking of something I like, this is from Eat Well. It's their tastefully simple garlic garlic seasoning. Uh, yes, I am obsessed with garlic, so I am so excited to see this. This is going to be amazing. Garlic is my favorite seasoning, although it does give me a stomach ache too. Okay, a couple items left. The next one is from Verb Energy. It's a small batch flavor cinnamon roll energy bar. Pretty interesting. It does say as much caffeine as an espresso and only 90 calories. So I wonder if this is going to be like heavily coffee flavored. I don't really drink caffeine. My, my intake is just water and sparkling water. So this might send me over the edge with caffeine, but I'm still up to giving it a try. Let's see. The next item comes in this little pouch here. There's two of them. I have no idea what this is. There's nothing written on it. Let's see. So, oh, well, it's broken. So it should have been a little spoon that smells kind of like a chocolate ice cream cone. So I think this was kind of like an ice cream cone spoon that you can have with your ice cream. Interesting. I don't know. We'll give it a try. It feels like it's pretty hard though. So we'll see. And then there are two other items in the box, which I feel like these are going to be the bonus items that you would receive if you were the annual subscriber. So there are four little BPA plastic bowls here, which are really cute. I have a ton of bowls in the house, but I am still so excited about this. And there is also going to be a four piece ice pop maker. So really cute, perfect for summer. I love the little designs up top. But that is going to bring me to the end of this unboxing. And overall, I will say this was a pretty good box this season. I feel like there was a great variety of items. This is only my second box, so of course I am going to compare it to the spring box. And I will say, I feel like the spring box personally had a lot more larger items. Whereas, although this box still had a lot of items, a lot of them were smaller in size. Of course, my dog is walking by and making some noise. But anyway, I do still feel like the value is there for the $45 or whatever amount it is that I paid. There is a great variety, so I am super excited about that. And if you are interested in this box, it is still available on their website. And they do also have recipes on their website that go along with some of the items in the box. But anyway, enough of rambling. I would love to know your thoughts, so please comment down below and know what you thought of this box. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.